guys so i just got out of my ww workshop it felt so good to be back by the way yes i went back brown um surprise i was just really feeling like i just i don't know i was looking at old pictures of myself with my brown hair and i was like oh my god i think it's the hormones that made me dry change it back but um if anyone knows me in real life they know i change my hair like literally all the time so it's not really that big of a surprise but anyways i just got out of my workshop i did decide to weigh in um and it was a little higher than i was expecting but still i'm in the 170s so i was 178.4 so that is my starting weight and you know i was like for a second a little hard on myself but i'm like I'm in the 170s like it's not that bad so um, it could be way way worse so I'm super proud of myself for that and I'm ready to start really really being good with tracking I've just been kind of like lazily tracking the last like few weeks I'm only a month postpartum so I'm like not being too hard on myself or anything like that but I'm definitely ready to get back into it and get back to my meetings every week um, it's gonna be hard to get every single week because I like to go Tuesdays I don't like to change my days um, I might have to start changing them um, just every once in a while because my husband's going back to work and he works some Tuesdays and I'm not about to bring both of my kids um, I'm gonna try to get to my Tuesday morning meetings every single week when I can and then if I can't I'll try to switch it up and go to a different meeting which makes me sad but um, I just got out of my meeting and I'm so motivated like if you're not doing workshops you need to do workshops because like it was so motivating and thank God um, baby did so good he's sleeping back there <laughs> He slept basically the whole time. I did have to like get up and like rock him a little bit, but oh my gosh, he did so good. Um, so I got my new little booklet for the new plan and I'm so excited and I'm feeling really motivated. So um, I might make this like a what I eat in a day. Um, I just had, you guys saw, I had my coffee, um, two shots of espresso over ice and a venti cup, blah, 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 you guys know. And I added the caramel premier protein shake. So I'm probably gonna go, gonna go home and eat a little something. Um, I was talking about in my meeting how my goal for the week is to make a meal plan for dinners and stick to it because it's been really hard. Um, uh, like I'll have the baby and he's like crying and I'm like I can't make dinner so then I either eat something like that's not great or I'll um, not eat at all which that's not good either so I'm gonna try this week to make it a goal to eat to make a meal plan for every single week and then actually stick to that so I have to figure out some like quick and easy meals which you guys know I'm like the queen of that so um, I'm gonna do that today I'll show you guys whatever I decide um, I have some meals ready to go already like the crock pot Italian chicken I might make that tonight so I will keep you guys updated but I will make this like a little what I eat in a day vloggy style video so anyways it felt really really good to be back I'm so happy and now I'm gonna head home Hi guys, so I am home now and I'm just going through my pantry, my fridge, seeing what I have and planning my meals for the week. So that's like one of my biggest tips I give everyone is plan ahead like Monday through Friday. I have a whole video on this. I'll link it down below, but write down what you're going to eat, get those ingredients specifically so that way you know what you have and you're not tempted to do something else. But for me, it's been harder with him because, <laughs> hi baby. It's been harder with him because he'll be crying like at night he gets like right around dinner time He gets like super fussy and I'm like I can't make dinner and so I'll either won't eat or I will Like grab something out of the fridge. That's not the best um, Or we'll get like DoorDash and I think that's why like my weight was a little bit higher because I haven't been doing that great lately so I'm just seeing what I have. I wrote it down on my phone. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know this is what I do. So this is what I do on my phone. So I'll write down Monday through Sunday. And I'll write down like a couple lunch options. I'm gonna prep my cheesy broccoli casserole because lunches have been hard too. Um, like getting something and like figuring out what I want. So I'm gonna have that prepped. Um, I was gonna make crock pot chicken tonight, but I don't have the cream cheese So I'm gonna have to flip two of these around. I think we'll make the chicken tenders tonight, maybe um, or the KFC bowls. I don't know. Oh, I have that twice. I didn't mean to have that twice <laughs> I have to figure that out, but <laughs> you get the point point. and then I'll have leftover crock pot Italian chicken So that'll be a lunch option as well. I'm gonna cook up um, a bunch of extra brown rice pasta for the stroganoff and for the crock pot chicken because um 
that's one thing about those meals is that it's hard to have time to cook the pasta so i'm gonna cook some extra and keep it in the fridge he's like just staring at me um i know it looks like his neck isn't supported but it is i promise um so that is the plan i'm going to place that grocery order as soon as possible hopefully i can get it delivered tonight um and then i'm going to eat lunch right now i think i'm going to uh, i wanted to make the stroganoff with the i have extra ground beef in there so i was going to use ground beef instead of chicken but i don't have mushrooms or onions or anything right now so um like I literally bought these the other day because I was freaking, I was literally having a mental breakdown because I couldn't figure out what to eat for lunch. So I literally bought Lunchables to just like grab and eat, which I think this one's like seven points. So it's not too bad. So if they're, if it, last minute, if there's really like, if he's being crazy and I have nothing to eat, it's important for me to eat because I am nursing and I need to keep my supply. So um, even if it's something like that, every once in a while, that's fine. <laughs> but I think today I might make a grilled cheese and maybe an apple with some peanut butter um and then i'll figure out what i'm gonna eat for for dinner but i'll show you guys what i end up having for lunch i just wanted to show you how i'm kind of planning and i'll show the grocery haul as well when it gets here so okay so this is my lunch i have a chicken wrap um i'll show you what's in that in a second and then i have an apple um and i like to dip it in the dan and light and fit greek yogurt these are my favorite greek yogurts so i'm gonna uh, I get them at Walmart. This is just the vanilla. So I dip my apples in there and this is my wrap. So I just have two of these Simply Smart um, chicken tenders. These are so good. I just threw them in my air fryer super quick and two of them are three points. And then I have a Tumorous white wrap, which is only one point. These are so freaking good. And then I have two tablespoons of sharp regular uh, cheddar, which is two points. And then I have one tablespoon of Bolt House Farms Classic Ranch, which is one point. So three, four, five, six, seven. So this is seven points, eight, nine, and then the apple zero. So nine points for lunch. I have my water all filled up. I still have been really good with my water. I drink so much water. Breastfeeding makes me extra thirsty too. So that's not a problem for me. Um, and I'm about to place my grocery order, but I just wanted to show you guys my lunch. So I just took um, a scoop of my greens. Um, I've been slacking lately, but you guys, these help me so much with digestion. And if you know, postpartum sometimes like things get, you know, you know, if you know, you know. So I'm actually gonna take another scoop. Um, it's fine if you take more than one scoop, but um, I've been dry scooping them because that's like what all the cool kids are doing. And um, I'm gonna take another scoop right now, maybe like half a scoop. Um, but I highly recommend these. Like, obviously you can eat your vegetables. You guys know I'm like not great at eating my vegetables, but this is um, banana apple flavor and it has, here's the ingredients. It's like super clean ingredients, um, or, or organic spinach, everything's organic. Spinach, spirulina, broccoli, banana, apple, wheatgrass, blueberry, carrot, barley, barley grass, kale, parsley. And it's sweetened with stevia. It's so good like you would think you know it does have like a greens taste but not what i was expecting like i thought i would never be able to take greens because <laughs> i'd be like Bleh. but no like i'm literally dry scooping it it's so good um and it's like really sour if you dry scoop it so you can mix it with water if you want but i've been liking it better dry scoop so i just put it under my tongue and then i get some water and then like swish it in my mouth so i'll show you It's really sour. Ah! If it gets stuck under your tongue, it's like super sour. Oh my gosh, but I love it. It's like sour candy powder, you know? Um, and there's a bunch of benefits to greens. You can like look it up, but like I said, they're not necessary like for weight loss or anything like that. It's just like optional if you want to take them, but these are actually on sale right now as I am talking to you guys. Um, and I have a code, it's just Felicia for 10 percent off they also have amazing pre-workout um i've heard you guys know i obviously i'm breastfeeding and i was pregnant so i haven't been able to try their pre-workout but i've heard like rave reviews about their pre-workout so um they have that they have cal mag they have tons of different supplements but i just take the greens 
Um, so I'll leave a link for that down below and you guys can use my code Felicia. I think it's 10% off plus they're on sale. So um, they sell out a lot. So um, hopefully by the time this video goes up, there's still some uh, there, but yeah, super good and zero points. Okay, so it's like 3.45 now, I'm having a snack. I'm having one ounce of these Ritz toasted chips. I did weigh them out, so one ounce is four points. And then I have a Laughing Cow Cheese Wedge, which is one point, this is the, the light Swiss one. Um, and I'm just gonna dip the crackers in that. I was gonna do pepperoni as well, but I just got out of the fridge and it was expired, so. Um, pepperoni's really good too with this, turkey pepperoni, regular, whatever you want, but it's like a little five point snack. Okay, I'm also having a Mountain Dew Zero. Um, I believe everything in moderation. I think these are so good and I don't have one every single day, but I like it as like a little treat. They are zero points. Um, they're different than diet. Like I, you know how they have like Coke Zero, Pepsi Zero. I think all the zeros taste way better than diet. So I'm going to pour this in my little cup and sip on it. And this does help keep me full, like the carbonation. So that's what I like about it. Okay, so I just got my Walmart order. I wanted to show you guys just super quick. I'm gonna go through it really fast. Um, what I got so I picked up two more bags. This is my favorite brown rice pasta I'm actually gonna use some of this tonight and then I stocked up on Cleo bars. These are my favorite little snack They're six points each um, They're like Greek yogurt covered in chocolate so good um, I find them in the yogurt section and then I picked up some more regular pretzel crisps um, to dip in my hummus or like a laughing cow Swiss uh, wedge and then I love the completely covered chocolate ones, but um, I'm assuming these these ones will be lower in points since they're only drizzled with chocolate, but I love these as like a quick little, like if I just need something chocolatey, but I don't want like a full built bar or something, like just something to pop in my mouth. So I will scan those and um, see how much they are. Then I have more Greek yogurt. Um, they replaced one of them with the whips. I don't know how many points that is. And then that one's the caramel apple pie flavor. And then I have some celery for my hummus. I have cream of mushroom soup and tater tots for um, tater tot casserole. I think I have a YouTube video on that. If not, I'll link, if I do, I'll link it below. And if not, I will um, either make a video this week on it or I'll post the recipe down below. Um, and then I have three pounds of extra lean ground beef, 96.4. And I have some more Bolt House Ranch, some mushrooms. Um, I got cream cheese for the Italian chicken. I'm gonna make a video on that as well. Um, I was gonna make that tonight, but I didn't have the cream cheese, um, and it needs to be in the crock pot all day. And then I'm prepping the cheesy broccoli casserole. So I got broccoli and cauliflower rice. I got a bag of regular cheddar cheese, and then three bags of, okay, of course. Three bags of fat-free cheddar cheese and then I have onions here three onions some apples some more cottage cheese this is my favorite kind 1% from great value and then I got two of these salads um, I think they're like seven points for the whole thing and I thought this would be something really easy for me to grab for lunch and just mix it all together and it looks so good it has ranch uh, turkey Swiss and ham so and it's like a decent amount so I thought that would be a good lunch to have and then the milk is for Weston. Um, I got some more bread. I like the Dave's Killer Bread I've been using, but this is for all of us. Sometimes I just like to take half for like a half a peanut butter sandwich or something. But this is one point for one, I think, and then three points for two. Um, I'll have to double check on that, but I'm pretty sure. It's pretty good at points. Um, and that is it. And I don't know if I mentioned I got more chicken apple sausage, but, and then just diapers and some Tupperware, but that is what I got for the week. So hopefully I can stay on track super well and hopefully I have a good loss. So these are five points for five pretzels. So, um, I mean, it's not too bad, but it's just a perfect little sweet treat for me right now. I'm gonna make dinner here probably in the next like 30, 45 minutes, but I just wanted something chocolatey. So this is what I'm having. Okay, so I'm making, it's like my, it's like the chicken stroganoff, but with beef. I saw Tiffany, uh, my adventure to fit on Instagram, make this the other night and it looks so good. So I just have onions, mushrooms, and spinach all sauteing just with like some Pam spray. And then I have some water going and I'm going to put in 67 grams of brown rice pasta, the Tinkyada brand that I showed, which is six points. I'm going to boil that up and then I'm actually going to add this ground beef that we have left over. 
I always measure my beef raw, so I have no idea how much this is, which is really frustrating, but I'm just going to give it my best guess. I am going to weigh it um, cooked and see what it is, but um, I'm pretty sure in the app it's all like raw, so we'll see how much that is. And then uh, I'm going to add cottage cheese to that, which I'll show you guys all of that. So the beef was like three and a half ounces cooked. So I don't know, I'll have to look in my app to see how much that was, but I added some salt and pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder, and then I'll show you guys how I add everything together. Okay, so now I have the heat on high, and I'm just going to add the noodles. And then I'm going to add a third cup of cottage cheese. And then you just mix it all together. So my camera's about to die, but this is the finished product. The cottage cheese just gets all melty. I will put the full points on the screen, but this is so much food, super filling, and it's so so good. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to finish it all, but yeah, this is what I'm having for dinner. It's about 7.30 now. So my camera's about to die. It's about 11 o'clock. This is going to be my dessert. I cannot find my battery charger. I'm so annoyed. Uh, this is four points for the peanut butter brownie. This is the flavor that I helped Built Bar create, and um, it is now available on their website. It's in the Build Your Own box now, um, and you can use my code FeliciaFitnessHealth2020 to get 10% off. Um, seriously, the freaking best bars of all time. I'm in bed about to nurse this little guy. And that's going to be the end of this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in my next video. I once felt I'm done with the deep.